I decided I'm not going to read my comments anymore since people can't stop being rude. So I will be disabling all comments pretty soon. I just decided I'm going to answer any questions y'all may have had on videos. So the main question I get, which is what somebody asked me a couple days ago, is how do I hear Jesus? Well, <sighs> Jesus mostly deals with me in three main different ways one is revelation two is dreams dreams and visions and um the third would just be like thoughts and this is kind of <laughs> complicated to explain because i feel like with him i don't i don't believe he speaks to just everybody in just one simple way I, he's pretty you know he's a broad god so I feel like he'll speak to you in a way that he know you will receive it best whether it's through a TV show or him sending somebody else or him just speaking into your spirit sometimes a lot of Christians they can just feel when it's Jesus telling them to do something you can just feel it in your spirit I'm gonna start with the um the revelation now this is crazy <laughs> this is why I say I believe my gifts of the spirit are the word of knowledge and the word of wisdom because I'm telling you y'all believe me I can be walking around the house anywhere I could be listening to music I could be walking around the house I could just be laying in bed I could be doing anything and I would just have like random you know them little cartoons how it shows like a light bulb going off like when you have a new idea that's how it is with me in Revelation when he tells me something it's just they just come knowledge just literally comes <laughs> I really don't know how to explain it. That's how I know a lot about demons and pretty much everything. Especially, well, I got my video on here and I was telling you how I first got saved and stuff. How I really didn't understand a lot of the Bible. So, I would talk to him and he would teach me. And when I did start getting into the Bible, I saw that a lot of stuff that he had already told me was in there. So, I can't, I really don't know how to explain it better than that. It just, it's, it comes as a thought. And you have to understand the power of thoughts to understand how Jesus speaks to us in thoughts. Because when you think of a thought and you don't really have a spiritual understanding of it, you're going to be like, okay, well, how do you know that's Jesus? Well, when he speaks to me, it's like a, I want to say like a telepathic communication. I just know when it's him. I can feel it like in my core. It's like a still, small voice, but it's sweet and it's gentle. He's never rude or mean to me. He's never judgmental. He'll he'll even correct me, but it'll be like so sweet. It it won't. <sighs> Let me see. I don't know. He's just. He's always counseling me. If you ever have any thoughts that counsel you when you're talking to Jesus, um. If it lines up with Scripture, most most times with me it does. Like, he would just give me revelations just out the blue. And like like he did with the, um, those who abide in him do not sin in John, 1 John 3, 3, 3. I see the numbers 333 and 33 a lot. So, he told me that before I even read that in the Bible. He just, I don't know, he just speaks to me like that. So, uh, I guess I just encourage you. I really... I mean, it's a relationship, so just like with any relationship with anybody, you have to, um, in order for the relationship to progress, you just got to spend a lot of time with that person and stay in fellowship, I guess, so it's kind of, I guess, since he's been talking to me like that for years, I just kind of learned when it's him, so, I just know now, <laughs> so, and I mean, it's, the, the revelation is just like daily, it's really crazy, it's like, you just have this source just pouring knowledge into your head the whole day and it's like I write a lot of it down and um especially when I'm doing like Facebook ministry and stuff which my page is deactivated right now but uh I have a lot of people come to me and I'll be like oh my god you're so wise you know you know so much and they think I'm like 25 or 26 when I'm just 20 and I'll be like, I get it from him. Like, he just tells me, and I just I just share it. <laughs> so, the second way would be, um, 
I also want to say this when when I do have like a thought or a revelation from him, he'll usually confirm it. So if you want if you want him to start speaking to you like that, ask him for confirmation. That's probably why he does that so much to me because sometimes like if you like me, which I've had a lot of y'all come to me and be like, well, I don't know if it's my thoughts or if it's the devil's or. I used to ask him for confirmation all the time. Like, I would know it's him, and he'd tell me, like, a fifth time in a different way, and I'd be like, okay, Lord, I need one more confirmation, <laughs> and then he'll tell me. So, just ask him for confirmation. He'll he'll let you know it's him. You'll know that you know that you know. And every time he speaks to you, when you feel like it's him, write it down, because I prom well, I'm not going to promise you, but most likely, you will come across a scripture that he led you to, and it'll say exactly what he told you. He does that all the time. And it gets me all the time because he's just because it's funny because it's like you be thinking as you just feel like going pick up the Bible and read it when it's really him who put the thought in your head and yeah it's crazy stuff with him. Um, second would be dreams and visions. That's nothing special. He speaks to everybody in dreams and visions. We see in the Bible he dealt with his servants and even people who were not um, followers of God like Pharaoh and stuff. So he deal with everybody in dreams. But um Well <sighs> Most of my dreams, um sometimes it's just the message he's trying to give me. Like um not too long ago I had a dream about <clears throat> there being a house and there were like seven other people around my age in that house and they were like young adults like me, both male and females and the house was dirty and stuff all over the place they were the kids well they weren't kids they were young adults but they were like lazy and just angry they fought all the time the house was just filthy and I was moving in with them so I thought I was doing something but um, I hope this video don't go off by cleaning the house and making the beds and stuff you know I thought maybe it would put them in a better mood but it didn't. They messed the house up all over again. So that was a symbolic dream of him telling me there's spirits in my temple. And there's no point in me trying to clean up my temple when these spirits are still here. Because it's going to be the same cycle repeating over and over again. And I know y'all see that, obviously. So see, it could be something like that. And a lot of times, I didn't understand the dream at first. But like I said, he gives me revelation throughout the day. So he's the one who even gave me the symbolic meaning behind that dream. I would have never guessed that. All I knew was some young adults was in the dream. The house was dirty, and they kept junking it up every time I cleaned it or tried to clean it. And later on throughout the day, he just told me, those are spirits. <laughs> and your temple is your house, but they're not going to leave because you're comfortable with them. And um, he's basically showing me that I have attempted to surrender and try to get my house in order. But because the spirits are there, they have a dwelling place. And... They're not gonna go anywhere. It's not, it does no. It makes no sense. So it's no point to just keep trying to surrender and do this and that because they're gonna keep knocking you down. So yeah. But um, other dreams like end time dreams. Excuse me. <laughs> end time dreams. Um, rapture dreams. <laughs> um. This is kind of hard to explain with dreams because Satan is so deceiving and he's a counterfeit with everything. He gonna try to make you, give you a crazy dream and you think it's from God when it's really not. So, when it comes to dreams, I would just ask him. I'm lazy when it comes to dream interpretations because a lot of the stuff, I, I understand parts of it, but I'm not, I don't understand the full meaning. So, I need to start um, maybe fast in for a day or two and ask him for the interpretation so I can have a you know full understanding of what they mean but that's what I would advise you to do if you do have a dream from him but most of the time it's just the feeling I get like in my spirit especially if it's a rapture dream <laughs> if it's like a rapture or end time dream I'll have a quickening in my spirit I'll just be shaking up not really sweaty but I'll just be like my spirit just feels more alert when I wake up and it's like a quickening I know that's him I don't have no other dreams that give me that um Vision speaks to me in visions. He'll show me, um, he'll show, like, he's shown me several times. I have a lot of knowledge on demons because Jesus teaches me about them. He's the one who told me I had him in the first place. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> I know you're probably like, what? How did, how did that go? I was just laying in bed and I was very angry at myself. 
because I kept backsliding and I was just getting frustrated and I was like well well God maybe I'm really not saved and you know I was just feeling stupid like why do you even want me I keep going back to this this and that over and over and over again and um I thought something to him because like I said it's like a tele communication weird thing we don't I don't really speak I don't I really don't pray out loud a lot sometimes I do but um I was expressing to him how I felt like I had this other personality I was like Lord I like it's like I'm in the flesh but it feels like a, a different person like it's really not me I really I know who I am or I know what I want to do you know how Paul uh saying um what I will to do is what I don't do and what I don't want to do is what I end up doing I was telling God that I'm like it's like that I know what I want to do I want to do the right thing I want to have a renewed mind I want to live holy but I just feel there's something else that just takes over me and he told me it's not you and after he said that this random revelation as I tell you it's like thoughts <laughs> he just started telling me how it's been demons that have been trying to accomplish their will through my mind and some of them are even in my mind because of doors I've opened and that's what I've been battling with. He said it's not you. Which is why I make videos about demons because they operate in dark. That's one thing you need to understand about the devil. He operates in darkness. Jesus is the light. He is the dark. Anywhere there is darkness is where Satan will be. He does not want you to know he's there. That's the whole point. Their kingdom would not be effective if they knew you were, if they, or if you knew that they were there. You see how I was laying in bed and I, I, I thought it was me. I thought, well, maybe I'm really not saved. I keep backsliding. I keep doing this, 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 and that. Jesus had to tell me himself, it's not you. There's a force working against you. So, I'm telling you, honey, it is real. So, he's told me that. Uh, but anyway, I was talking about the visions. Um, let me see. The visions I had in 2011, my visions are mostly, I don't have like vivid awake visions. I wish I could have one of those. That would be so cool if he would let me have one of those. But um, I usually have night visions and not dreams, but um... 2011 I was laying in bed and I was dealing with depression so bad y'all I mean if anybody was a fighter when it came to my walk with God it was me I had nobody I stayed in the house all day I didn't have no friends I never got out the house um stayed on Facebook 24 7 that was like my life just ministering on Facebook and I spent a lot of time with him at the same time I was surrendered so but at the same time I was real depressed and <sighs> I just man, I can't even express with these spirits. If you don't deal with demonic spirits, it's it's kind of hard to explain because it's so much pressure on your mind. You just constantly feel belittled, discouraged, and you hate yourself. You feel like everybody hates you, nobody loves you, which is what they tell you. Excuse me, let me get off of this. There ain't nobody with the devil anyway. You just feel constantly just, I hope my video don't go off, um, constant thoughts that nobody loves you, you're worthless, you're never going to be anything, just depressed, and, um, a lot of it is thoughts from the enemy, but they have powers too, because they're supernatural beings, so they can, um, they know how to manipulate your emotions and your feelings, so all that depression that you feel, that's them. So, around that time, I went to sleep, and God had showed me in a vision. I was laying in bed. I was laying in a bed in a dark room, and there were, like, four spirits surrounding my bed. And, um, they looked like transparent bodily forms. Um... I'm, they just looked like they had a bodily form. I, it wasn't really like a human body or face. But, but um, they were four different kinds of spirits. I know one was lust. And one was depression. The others were, I think one was rejection. Forgot what the other one was. But everything that they were yelling at me, this is the crazy part. Everything that those spirits were yelling at me were things that I constantly thought about and felt about myself on a daily basis. All the lustful thoughts I had. 
all depressing, just belittling, rejecting thoughts. Nobody loved me. All of that is what they were screaming at me while I was on that bed. So he was showing me the thoughts you're having. It's not even you. The spirits, they're attacking you. They're tormenting you. They're oppressing you. So, um, and I knew that was him because a lot of, like I said, demons, they operate in darkness. I had no idea I was being tormented. I literally thought that I was sick in the head. I thought I had a mental illness and maybe I was just bipolar or, um, struggle with depression i thought maybe i had like a chemical imbalance and then he showed me that so you'll know it's a it's a dream or vision from god if he's exposing them to you because he does that a lot with me he exposes demons and he'll show me when i'm dealing with something he'll show me what kind of spirit it is um who knows that could have been really happening in the um in the spiritual world that i don't know about and he also showed me that um the fact that i was in a bed the, you ever heard how there's like a certain spot where you're at that demons just love to torment you at? I've heard that from somebody before. She told me her husband had this one spot. He used to always sit in the kitchen table. And every time he sat there, he would just zone out and get crazy. Well, I think God was showing me that my bed, when I'm alone the most, is where they torment me. And that is so true. That is too true. I can be laying in bed and I just have like this gloom and this just... So it's not as bad as it used to be because I know what it is now but sometimes I would just break down crying like you have no idea how much power these demonic spirits have over your mind a lot I'm tired of people under stop underestimating demons they have power they know how to manipulate your thoughts and your your feelings and your emotions how do you think people end up committing suicide they don't put that stuff in horror movies for no reason they know what demons do Yeah, they, they can drive you to kill yourself, really. There's movies where people don't really want to kill themselves, but there, there's a force, like, making them cut the wrist off. Yeah, all of that stuff is real. I would just break down and cry sometimes. I, would, I literally would just feel insane. Like, what the hell is wrong with me? It's bad. So there's one vision where he showed me it was them. And um, <laughs> later on in the vision, I, he showed me floating up into, like, glory. It was a whole bunch of light beautiful beautiful light and um it's like the higher i got the more peace and joy i felt and um i knew it was god like it was him but it was like a place at the same time but he was all over the place so it was still him but he was just rising me up and he showed me being delivered from those demons and i remember i looked down at him and they were so mad <laughs> They was doing like this, like they were just, they looked like they was screaming out some blasphemies and cussing honey. And uh, they was mad because he took me away from them. And they really wanted to get me back. And the way they were screaming at me, y'all, when I was laying on the bed, it looked like if they could get their hands on you, they would just rip you to shreds. Like that's how angry they were screaming that stuff at me. All the little negative stuff you, stuff you think about 24-7, that's spirits. Um... Some people say just rebuke them throughout the day when you know it's the spirits. I don't do that. Maybe I should. I just don't. I personally never thought it was that effective because I feel like if you have demons, it's going to take a little bit more than you just, I rebuke you, devil. I rebuke you all day, every day, every time you have a bad thought. Girl, no. But, um, so that's one vision I had. Um... There's one vision where I was watching a Christian documentary and it was too graphic and detailed. It's called Hollywood Satanic Agenda on YouTube. Do not watch it because when I watched it, God, um, I think there's different planes. And I learned this from him too by revelation. There's different uh, spiritual planes. There's a lot more than one. There's a lot more than four. I think the first plane is when your body is unconscious or asleep and your spirit is alert. And I know a lot of y'all have probably felt that, but you probably didn't know what it is. It feels like you're more alert, but even the atmosphere kind of feels different because it's your spirit. It's not just your flesh. Our flesh is like, you know, but, um... When you're when you're alert in the spirit, when you're awake in the spirit, everything feels so much more real. Like it was like if, if a wind if a wind breeze was just to fly by you in the spirit, it would, it would probably consume you. That's how real it feels when you're on that plane. So he woke me up and my spirit was alert and I felt a demon 
crawling into my, my mind because I had watched that video and I opened the door and it was kind of like God he he woke me up in the spirit because he wanted me to see why it was taking place there's no way I would have known why the demon was doing that he's the one who told me <laughs> so um, and I've had a few encounters with Jesus on that plane when your spirit is alert and your body is um kind of unconscious yeah he, he can communicate with you a lot better because it's your spirit but yeah he he let me know that's that's why and i i'm sure it got up in there it literally felt like something was trying to force its way in i didn't see what it looked like it just felt like um just what i say like something was kind of trying to crawl in there <sighs> That's, that's another way he speaks to me though visions and dreams the third way um let me see i said revelation visions and dreams and thoughts yeah i said everything but i mean he speaks to me in a lot of different ways i can be watching tv like joyce meyer or somebody and he'll confirm something he already told me i'll be dealing with something and he'll speak through the tv he i mean he, he really can use anything but the main ways i hear him is by revelation which is kind of like thoughts and um visions and dreams so there's a 20 minute video for y'all because <laughs> i had so many people ask that and um i mean that's that's pretty much it but i mean like i said um he could speak to you like that because when i told my brothers and sisters in christ how he speaks to me they're like i can't do that i can't do that that's why i said i believe i may have the gifts of the word of wisdom and the word of knowledge because if you if i do have that gift it would make sense why i constantly have revelation about different just knowledge on different types of stuff so that could be it too that's why i say just ask him to start speaking to you in a way where he knows you'll better understand it or you know that you know that you know it's him um numbers a lot of Christians see them numbers. We don't know what them numbers mean, honey. But usually when he confirms something like... I also think this is him showing me that he's with me too. Because I went to go chill with a friend last night. And I used to see... I'm starting to see 1210 again. But I used to see 1210 a lot like a few years back. But now I'm seeing double digits like 22, 222, 33, all of that. So we arrive at the apartment complex. And the first thing I see is the number 22. <laughs> So, and this happens like when I'm on a highway and it'll be on like a billboard. I'll see 333. And look, look, I just saw 2233. <laughs> you see how he does it? He does it all the time. But y'all not playing. Y'all can play rewind the video when I said that. I just saw 2233. But, um, so I kind of feel like in a way I'm like, okay, well, this could be a reminder of something. Or maybe this is just his way of letting me know that he's with me. Because I see it everywhere. And it's kind of like, okay, Lord, like, if this means something deeper, then why don't you just tell? I might have to fast for it, but I'm so lazy. <sighs> so, yeah, numbers. He confirms a lot. He'll use, especially if you ask him. I bug him. I'll be like, okay, confirm this. I know it's you, but I just confirm it like a hundred times, and he will a hundred times. <laughs> so, um. Um. That's, that's pretty much it for this video, how I hear from him. This computer keeps going off. Pretty much it. Yep, that's it. Y'all have anything else y'all want to ask me, just inbox me, because I'm really not planning on reading them comments here, because y'all be acting a fool, and I don't have time for the negativity. So, if there's anything you want to ask me pertaining to God, or my walk with him, or demons, anything, message me. And, um... It really depends on what I feel like doing. If I don't feel like messaging back, I'll probably just do a video so everybody can watch. But, um, that's it.